Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. This video shows how completely cooked the SEC is right now. I want to share with you a recent fine that John Deaton levied in connection with the emails from Bill Hindman offering a free admission to Ethereum. For a long, members of the XRP community wondered whether the cryptocurrency had been referenced in these communications. It was explicitly stated by John Deaton and Jeffrey Hogan that this would be disastrous for the SEC. John Deaton may have recently discovered that XRP was mentioned in these emails. But in addition to that, the SEC was adamant that they did not consider XRP to be a security. Honestly, guys, this is astounding. This is significant in the case. You won't want to miss this, I assure you. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that 24 hours later, cryptocurrency is indeed selling these XRP pennants once more. I always wear this stuff. Especially with the black background, this thing is sick. This item, in my opinion, is truly extraordinary. It doesn't cost that much. It's $76. The code for me is MM. This video's description states that you can save 15% by doing that. But he's also literally etching the price of XRP right now for this weekend alone. So ideally you can look back on this in 10 to 15 years and think, wow. I find it hard to believe XRP was trading so cheaply. Simply said, I found this to be incredibly cool. Actually, he is paying for the engraving himself. Therefore, this isn't anything to profit from. Simply put, this is a truly cool product. So if you're interested, I highly recommend looking at that. Let's start the video now. In addition, I'd want to start with an old piece of news because, in light of what we know now, it simply seems so potent. Thus, Jay Clayton received this direct statement from Joseph Grunfist in a letter. And on December 17, 2020, this letter was delivered to Jay Clayton. Furthermore, this occurred just before Jay Clayton brought the present lawsuit against Ripple. Listen to this because it is stunning as hell and it reveals that Joseph Grunfest, a former SEC commissioner, was well aware of all that was going on at the organization. And I believe it goes a long way toward demonstrating that everything the XRP community has discovered and that we have exposed is not a hoax. These SEC officials claim that this is exactly what occurred. He asserted that XRP must be allowed to trade freely in the market if Ether is. Ether should also be subject to limits if XRP is. Furthermore, any alternative outcome leads to a competitive imbalance that is impossible to justify without taking into account fairness and federal securities laws. Before this lawsuit was filed, Jay Clayton received a message from Joseph Grunfest, a former SEC official, who said, Hey, if you drop this case and try to impose limits on XRP that are not on Ethereum, that is going to be clear. Use of the security law improperly. Former SEC Commissioner Joseph Grunfist is aware that there is no distinction to be made between the security status of XRP and a cryptocurrency like Ethereum. Additionally, it is intellectually dishonest to attempt to claim there is a distinction. And you're just trying to forward your own agenda by being dishonest. This is very potent especially in light of what we have discovered thus far. These SEC representatives were aware that Bill Hindman and Jay Clayton were attempting to give Ethereum a stranglehold on the market by obtaining a special status that no other cryptocurrency has. That we could go back and say, yes, this is exactly what was happening. To quotes like this is utterly absurd. And I believe that this only proves that the SEC employed intelligent individuals. There were those attempting to act morally. Among the best examples of such is Joseph Grunfest. He was aware that cryptocurrencies needed rules, but he refrained from saying something absurd like that XRP and Ethereum should have different rules. In the end, all that this market really needs is transparency and a method to level the playing field for all of these cryptocurrencies. Bill Hindman and Jay Clayton made every effort to stop that from happening. In the end though, I believe this case righted a lot of wrongs. I believe that we are about to entirely undo much of the harm that these dishonest officials caused. And I believe it may even make things better for us in the long run. I'd want to go on now and discuss John Deaton's surprising new finding. And in this situation, 
people questioned I wonder if XRP was discussed in these emails for a very long period. Now, if XRP was in fact discussed in these emails, as John Deaton and Jeremy Hogan both claimed, it would be terrible for the SEC. And I just want to briefly discuss the reason why. Well, to start with, these emails aren't really that important in terms of the law for determining whether or not XRP is a security. Because even if the SEC believed XRP wasn't a security, as they claimed, the SEC might have been mistaken in the end. Furthermore, based on the Howey test, the judge may still decide that XRP constituted a security. This is crucial to comprehend because, in the end, Judge Torres, as a judge, will determine whether or not XRP is a security by applying the applicable securities laws. Whether or not the SEC determined that XRP was a security has little bearing on the case. No matter what the SEC believes, nothing changes. Having said that, I don't believe it is discussed enough how badly this may make the SEC appear in Judge Torres' eyes. If the SEC is claiming in secret that XRP is not a security and then sues Ripple, alleging that the company's founders were irresponsible and purposefully traded XRP while aware that it was a security, that is an extremely terrible appearance and paints the SEC as a dishonest regulator. Because Judge Torres is a human being just like me and you, the law virtually doesn't apply in this situation. When she sees something like that, she will exclaim, This is completely absurd. I don't think you should have filed this complaint. Therefore, in theory, these emails shouldn't affect the reality of whether or not XRP is a security. But I still believe it will have a significant influence on her choice. Judge Torres may have been thinking, Oh well, hopefully the SEC clears that up eventually. If she states she was undecided about ruling on secondary sales after seeing something like this. I'm hoping that's decided later. Perhaps the SEC is drafting rules right now. Maybe it was her first thinking when she filed this complaint. However, when she sees something like this, she'll think, Wow, the SEC is going out of their way to attack the secondary market. They're going out of their way to attack retail holders. And they're attacking members at Ripple who clearly didn't know any better. This casts the SEC in such a negative light and makes Judge Torres aware of the urgent need for clarification in this market because the SEC isn't acting appropriately in this case. Overall, what John Deaton discovered is a really, extremely awful look for the SEC. This isn't an exact quote yet because some of it hasn't been censored, but it appears that there was a quote in those emails that states it right here. There are good reasons to believe that XRP does not meet the requirements of the Howey analysis and is not a security as defined by federal securities regulations. How dreadful is that? In a literal email, the SEC claims that there is evidence that suggests XRP isn't a security. The SEC filed this lawsuit against Ripple on the grounds that the company's founders should have known from the start that XRP was a security and that their own staff had doubts about it. This demonstrates that the SEC brought this action for other reasons and did not do so because they believed XRP to be a security. This is incredibly significant. In my opinion, the SEC is doomed in this case. There's no question, in my opinion, that Ripple will be punished for a few early sales. However, I believe that these communications put to rest the notion that XRP itself might qualify as a security. Equally crucial to comprehend. These emails have previously been read by Judge Torres, who even stated that even if they do not change the factual situation around whether or not XRP is a security, I still want to make them public. I have a hunch that she wants to make them public for precisely this reason. She is aware that the SEC will be in their face with these emails. It demonstrates that the SEC itself did not believe XRP to be a security, or that there was significant disagreement over this issue. For the SEC, this is extremely embarrassing. This almost certainly indicates that Judge Torres will declare that secondary market XRP is not a security. Sincerely, this gives me more hope than ever that the SEC will resolve this dispute. Why did the SEC allow this to become public? When their own authorities claimed that XRP wasn't security in the background, how could they accuse Ripple of libel? And I simply wanted to share this most recent tweet from John Deaton with you. I always want my comments to be supported by the facts, he claims. 
I'm clarifying this as a result. Despite not being a direct comment from an SEC representative, it is damaging enough to prove that XRP was addressed. This viewpoint was communicated to a group in an email by someone at the SEC for a purpose. The question of whether this is a straight quotation from an SEC official, or if the SEC official just went to his lawyer and said, oh, my lawyer said this, is, I suppose, technically up for argument. It makes no difference either way. To make it obvious that they did not consider XRP to be a security, an SEC representative included this in the email chain. Furthermore, I don't see how the SEC will continue to exist after this case. We must wait to see the SEC's response. I'll be amazed if they allow these emails become public. I'm positive they won't ever let these get public. But gentlemen, if they do, either we have a victory for Ripple or XRP is not a security in the secondary market. XRP itself is not a security, and Ripple gets a warning, or we get a settlement any week now where XRP is considered not a security. Ripples gain clarity either direction. And because I think these two tweets by blood are bang on, I just wanted to read them to you. As of right now, the XRP neighborhood despises the SEC. Simply wait. If you aren't already appreciative that they sued Ripple, you most definitely will be. Guys, I truly concur with you on this. The XRP community now has a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to acquire. In this instance, Ripple has been able to subdue the SEC over time. And the information we are currently learning is fascinating. Worldwide, Ripple is introducing CBDC platforms. Their company is prospering. They are rapidly expanding. The bullish thesis for XRP is currently taking shape, and it is set to turn XRP into the sole non-security in the whole crypto market. The result will be widespread acceptance. This is going to be incredibly big, and I believe that we are almost there. Anyway, Gentlemen, I really appreciate you being here. I hope this update was enjoyable. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. It truly means so much.